Hi, Don Bisong here today. I am going to teach you how to add background sound on your PowerPoint presentation. And secondly, I am going to teach you how to remove background sound or music on your PowerPoint presentation. Now, how do you add or remove music on your PowerPoint presentation? For instance, you have a PowerPoint presentation right in front of you like my own. I'm going to use this case as a good example to teach you how to add or remove background sound on your PowerPoint presentation in case you change your mind. So we have two uh, cases here. Number one, I'm going to teach you how to add background or music or audio sound on your PowerPoint presentation whenever you want to present your PowerPoint. And number two, I am going to teach you how to remove or delete the audio, music, or anything you, you want to add on your PowerPoint presentation in case you change your mind. So to get your PowerPoint presentation started, let's say you want to put the music so that it can play from one slide to another, even if you present from the first slide to the twentieth slide, the music keeps playing. How do we put the PowerPoint in order so that the music keeps playing from one slide to another? The first point here is you go on insert. I'm going to teach you this in five minutes. You go on insert. When you click on insert, you are going to see many icons like new slide, table, picture, screenshot, photos, and a lot of icons here as you can see. But today we are not going to talk about this. Uh, our main focus today is to add background sound or audio on our PowerPoint presentation and to remove the background sound or audio on our PowerPoint presentation. So let's go straight to the point. When you click insert, you go on the right hand side here you are going to see this icon called audio. You click on audio. When you click on audio, you are going to get two additional icons. One which says audio on my PC and the other one says record audio. So today we are going to talk only on uh, audio on my PC. You click on audio on my PC. Now when you click on audio on my PC, it's going to actually take you to, to where you, you save your music. Make sure that before your PowerPoint presentation is right in front of you, you have downloaded and saved the music somewhere in your PC, maybe uh, in any file in your PC. For me, in this case, my music is saved in, I've saved my music in my desktop. So I'm going to click on my desktop and then my, my the recording which I want to use is here on the music file. I'm going to click on the music file and then I click insert. So when I click on insert, I have two music here. You have Celine Dion and the other one. So I'm going to choose the first one, which is Celine Dion. Yes, when you choose, you select the music and then you click on insert again. Yes, the icon now, the audio icon is actually going to come to you directly to your PowerPoint presentation like this one, as you can see in front of me. Now, how do we know that you have added an audio on this PowerPoint presentation, you click here to play to see if the audio is actually playing. Good, the audio is actually playing. But we are not done at this point because at this point, if you want to know that the music is playing only on the first slide and it's not going to play on the second or the third slide when you move from one slide to the other, you go on, you have to stop the music here and then you go to your slideshow mode and then you go to presentation. Let's say I want to present from the beginning, right, to see actually if the music will play from all uh, the music will play let's see it's not going to play yes, it's playing on the first slide but when I move to the second slide when I move to the second slide the music is not going to play as you can see the third slide is not going to play as I'm going down it's not going to play because we are not actually done with our process so I'm going to go back to that to complete the process and then you see how the music will play from one slide to the next as, and so on and so forth so now to to actually apply the music the, so that the music will go viral or to go on all the slices even if you jump from one slide to the other what do we do you click on this audio icon which is right in front of you when you click on the audio icon you look straight in front of you you are going to see these two additional icons format and playback do not go to format take on playback we click on playback you are going to see many other icons but don't go there Focus on these two, no style and play in background. Remember our main objective is to put an audio or music on our background, on our PowerPoint presentation. So we click on play on play in background. When we click on play in background, the music actually goes directly to our PowerPoint presentation. If you want to know that 
this process is actually completed you have to go back to the slideshow and then you click on play from beginning you have to start presenting now to see if the music is actually going to play this is the first slide as you can see i'm going to move to the second slide the music is playing as you can see we have actually completed the process yes. this is how we have completed the first step by adding an audio or background sound on our PowerPoint presentation as you can see. It's playing as I'm changing the slices. As you can see, the audio music is playing. So I'm going to go back on to the first slide to see. Okay, let's go to the first slide and see if actually we can remove the audio. Now, to remove the audio in case we change our mind which is we are going to the second step of this uh, uh, presentation to remove the audio you click on this audio icon right in front of you and then you right click and then you cut the audio the audio is actually out now if you go to our slideshow and then we want to present from the beginning you realize that there's no music yes our presentation is actually going on but there's no music so we have removed the audio completely yes from our presentation yeah as you can see guys yeah so to start again if we say we want to continue the process uh, let's say we we had two music on our files we want to change from this music to the last music the other music because we this is an option you can change you can delete you can do whatever you want no to do it again you have to go to insert when you go on insert, you click on audio when you click on audio you take audio on my pc when you go to go to my PC, it was going to it's going to actually take you to where you have saved save your music. Yes, I've saved my music on my desktop. Remember, I saved it here on my desktop, and the folder is music. So I have to click the folder and then click on insert. These are the two music. This one I'm going to choose the second music, which is uh, the actually the sound of the airplane because my presentation here is uh, traveling at the airport. So I want to actually play the sound of an airplane plane uh, trying to, to pick up from the airport as you can listen this is the sound of an airplane trying to pick up yes i have to stop it now to apply the audio on all my slices i have to do what again continue the procedure click on the audio icon and then you look straight there you will see format and playback now this formatting here is actually uh, a deceiving word it's not actually that when you click this it's going to format i mean we are going to come to that let's go i'll go to play play back and then take our back our play in background play in background and then we come to our presentation again we come to a slideshow to actually confirm if the music has gone to to the other slides as you can see the music is playing the audio is playing when I move to the second slide, it's actually playing, as you can see. Yes, it's playing, it's playing, it's playing. Yeah, it's playing. Yeah, this is presenting, and the sound is actually playing. Now, now let me stop the presentation. Mm -hmm. To stop the presentation, and then we can stop the presentation here, and then go back to the first slide yeah i want to teach you something again like uh i said when you click on the audio icon you are going to see formatting this formatting doesn't really mean that you have to format the audio when you click on the formatting here you are going to see many other options look at this if you want to like this audio you want to put any style there you can add the styles as you can see here yeah yeah if you want to change it if you want to make it to to look somebody so that somebody should not identify that you have actually included an audio you just click here on artistic effect effects like this one you click on this one it's not transparent as you can see yes it goes in hiding yes if you want it to project you see you can still click here so the, the actually the, the formatting doesn't mean that you have to format your music so guys this is the end of our program this is the end of our presentation i hope this video if you think this video has helped you in one way or the other please do give me the video a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment. Please, if you want to continue to see more of these videos, you want to see my subsequent videos on computer programming, technology, and everything of me, 
please just help me to subscribe 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 thank you for tuning in and then see you next time in my subsequent videos bye bye don't be someone or one signing off